Daniel was driving his Mercedes E350 that he had only owned for five months. On his way back from school, another driver pulled out in front of him, causing a collision. The other driver was unlicensed, uninsured, and not even wearing a seatbelt. As a result, he had mild injury and was taken to the hospital to be checked out. Daniel's own insurance provider is paying for the damage, will end up costing around 5400 US dollars to fix. While Jacob was driving down the Florida highway, traffic slowed down for highway patrol troopers stopped on both shoulders when a white Nissan came nearly to a stop. A van driver didn't notice and rear-ended it. Since Jacob wasn't involved, he dodged the debris on the road before continuing on his way. Matthias was driving his Honda Accord in Royal Oak, Michigan. There was heavy snow and traffic was starting to pile up on the highway. A Chrysler was going way too fast and in an attempt to avoid hitting a Cadillac Escalade, the driver overreacted and hit the truck in front of Matthias instead. We agree with your passengers, Matthias. Nice driving. The driver of the Charger didn't attempt to slow down. A white van turning left had a yellow yield light and began turning, and the Charger T-boned it. The impact was hard enough to spin the van 180 degrees. Marvin approached the Charger and managed to get the driver's side door open. All the airbags had been deployed and the driver was dazed and complaining of slight wrist pain. The driver of the white van was okay and didn't need to be checked out, but the driver of the Charger was taken to the hospital. Marvin isn't sure of the outcome, but he thinks the fault might have been split 50-50. He wants to know what you think. Leave a comment and tell us who do you think was at fault. Fought was driving in Dubai when a roaring Corvette tailgating him. He moved over and the Corvette proceeded to tailgate the Porsche in front of him. He then made a rather creative overtake on the shoulder. Sam was driving his Hyundai Sonata in Miami, Florida. Rain was pouring down and he confesses he was going way too fast for conditions. He was going 60 miles per hour while everyone was going 45 miles per hour. Sam was alright and only sustained minor back pain from the accident. The car was deemed a total loss and his insurance provider gave him over 18,000 US dollars. Be careful while driving guys! A motorcyclist overtook a lane of cars on the right on a two-lane road by the beach at roughly 20 miles per hour. The biker didn't notice a Corvette turning and got slammed off the bike getting flown at least 15 feet away from the stoplight. The biker had arm and neck injuries but made a full recovery because he wore full biking gear. Marvin is a U.S. Sail Navy sailor and there were also a few off-duty paramedics in the car in front of him. They rendered him aid till the paramedics arrived. Victor was driving his BMW 2 Series when it started sliding. We can hear the electronic stability control system kicking in. Although his BMW is a 2020, it had winter tires that were 10 years old. He's replaced them now with brand new ones after the folks at the tire shop told him that the tires lose their winter performance after six years. Can anyone confirm or deny this? This submitter was just enjoying the weather while riding around town on his Yamaha when he witnessed an accident between a teenage boy on a motorbike and a car being driven by a student driver. He paused and made sure the younger rider was okay. He was perfectly fine and he briefly spoke with the driving instructor. It sounded like the teacher confronted the biker as to why did he hit them and the submitter told them that it was probably just an accident. After making sure everyone was safe and they had the information they needed, the submitter got onto his bike and went his sunny good way. I'm kidding, there wasn't much sun. To be honest, is there any sun in Norway? I have been told that it's the backside of Sweden. Kyle was driving his Honda home in Ohio when a semi almost turned into him. This is why while driving, you need to be vigilant all the time. Josh was driving his Volvo XC70 early one morning to work when he fell asleep behind the wheel. The car went off the road and the airbags deployed. The car came crashing down and Josh immediately felt pain in his back. He woke up when the car went off the road. He tried to steer back out of the ditch but he wasn't able to. He missed three trees before the car went completely down. He managed to get out of the car and call emergency services. 
the first responders arrived quickly on the scene. A tow truck with a crane had to be called to lift the car out of the field the Volvo had landed in. Josh ended up having a broken vertebrae in his, on his spine. Since then, he has had three surgeries. After several months, he has made full recovery. His car also made a full recovery after he paid $2,800 US dollars repair bill. That's why folks never sleep and drive. When a semi-truck hit the brakes for a cyclist on the road, this caused his trailer to slide into the cars in the oncoming lanes. The trailer hit the car in front of Steve, but luckily everyone involved was okay.